The Trillionaire's Handbook, Jewel Number One. A mansion, a playground, once discovered, fun, food always available, drink, cocktails, rooms you could sleep in if you needed to, and labyrinthine. Surprising at every turn, what started as a typical mansion turned into extensions, new buildings, glass houses, and a ring of workaday stone cottages connected that form one hotel-like building, perched on the edge of a cliff of a disused quarry with sapphire-blue waters curving off into the distance. Security kept the worst of the drunks in check, and waiters served the drinks. The food was buffet-style, or fridges full of delights in small kitchens randomly discovered. Some of the bedroom windows opened out onto a great glass house filled with ferns and moss. A waterfall lines between the windows on moss-filled curving up walls. Some of the windows had balconies. Some of the balconies had stairs leading upwards among the moss and fern-covered dome-like walls, leading to a light forest of delicate white bark tree trunks and mist. A hut half hidden in the mist with tools and wood to make sculptures. Bizarre little sculptures dotted around the white forest. Word of mouth brought the people. A rumour, a secret party land if you knew where to find it. People from all over the world were there, leaving after a few days or months. Some had never left. The security were trained in first aid, occasionally needed, only occasionally, as the people were generally well behaved. You could make friends there, new people. Some made lifelong friends. In the ring of workaday stone cottages, no windows on the cliffside, so most were unaware of the quarry and water. The cottages were set up like small homes, all with furniture, old-fashioned, and each with an old dialer-type telephone on a small table. Each cottage had its own secret patio that led out onto a great garden in the middle of the ring. People chilled here in the garden, its winding paths leading to more little patios, and in the centre of the chilled maze, a pool with lifeguards. No bar here, though. A small hut with a simple kitchen and delights in a giant fridge that somehow was frequently refilled, though no one was seen. The pool was warm, even in steamy winter. On a quiet sunny day, occasionally, A hidden door opens in one of the cliffside connected cottages and a small group or couple discovers it, walks down some stairs built down to the bottom of the cliff with the clanging and tinkering machinations of a great house, all the time with views through the little windows of the sapphire water. At the bottom a door opens onto a stone platform with wellington boots. The stone platform with stairs leads down to a blue very shallow water People walk through the water, curving through the quarry walls until they reach a small, flat island that had not been visible from the cottages. There, sat under a vast rainbow parasol, was a young woman who was occasionally on the news, the young billionaire. The people sat with her and laughed. So you are owner of the party land, they discussed. The daft rumours that the young billionaire was an alien brought up, no comment. The young woman got up and pressed a secret button on the pendant she wore. A hiss from the cliff top above them drew everyone's attention. A large disc came partially into view and landed on the top of the cliff. The woman gone. The people got up to get a better view of the craft. The young billionaire, now at the top of the cliff, waved. A door opened and she entered the disc, just big enough for a single person. Another hiss and the disc rose high, then moved horizontally out of view. Unbeknownst to the people below, a giant hidden mechanical arm had lifted the partially in view disc into the air and away, but not far.